Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the difference between these four common data types in SQL. So I'm going to be going over char, varchar, nvarchar, and nchar. So what I'm going to do to kind of demonstrate the difference between the four is I am going to declare some variables here. So let's just declare our first variable as name one and the data type I'm gonna just call it character then I'm gonna declare another variable called name two and it's gonna be of type varchar which is variable varchar and then I'm gonna declare one more here name three and it's gonna be and varchar data type and then finally a fourth one this will be for our nchar and i'm just gonna call it name four and is nchar and again the same length 10. then what i'm gonna do is i am gonna assign them some values so i'm gonna assign them all some values and let's just assign them all the same value name one i'm gonna set it to steven and let's just copy this I am gonna do the same with my other three variables. So set name two equals name three. I'm gonna do the same thing, Steven. And then finally for name four, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna assign it as Steven. And it's actually name four, not one. And then finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see like what's inside each one of those values. So I'm just going to do a select. So add name one. So our first name. And then I'm going to check the character length. So I'm just going to write length of, again, our variable one here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to also check the data length. I'm going to see what's the actual length in bytes for that variable. So I'm going to do data length and I am going to do it for again for name one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And I am going to do the same for all four of them. So I'm just going to change this here. Three places and then I'm going to run the same thing for three. three three and then finally four so what I have here is I'm just printing the name so it's gonna print Steven and then I'm checking like what's the length of that variable the first one is again character the second one is varchar the third one is n varchar and the fourth one is n char and now I'm gonna print it Okay, we can see all four of them. So for the first one, the name is of course is Steven. It's the Steven for all of them. Then you see the length here. The string length is always gonna be six again for all of them. So that's just the length of the string for that variable. So it's gonna be six, 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 six here. But notice how all of these are different in the third column, which is the data length. So data length is actually giving you like, what's their storage size in bytes. Uh, or the data length in bytes. So for the first one, even though the string length is six, it took 10 bytes. So it, is, it, it took the whole 10 bytes. So this is fixed length. For the second one is variable length and is character again. So variable length. So the string length is six and the data length is also six. So it's only using six bytes. So this is our variable length so that's the main difference between these two is even though the string is six is going to take up all the spaces when you have a fixed uh, data type so character is fixed data type is going to take all the 10 10 bytes even though the character was only six long so, but it took like 10 bytes for the second one we have varchar is variable so it's only going to use up six bytes so one for each character so for the third one the nvarchar 
is actually a variable length that supports Unicode characters or bilingual characters or special characters. So the third one, again, the length is the same as six, but it is taking two bytes for each character length because it's Unicode and it uses two bytes for each character since it can store special characters as well and you need two bytes for that. The fourth one is again fixed length, but it supports unique characters as well. So fixed length that supports Unicode. So again here, even though the string length is six, but since we have nvarchar 10, it took up all the 10 spaces, but it took two bytes for each one of them. So there's 20 bytes. And for nvarchar and nchar, remember we have to add this n in front of it for it to be able to store Unicode characters. Otherwise it won't uh, display them correctly. So here I have a list of Unicode characters in Chinese. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy it here. And I'm just gonna copy one of these letters and I'm gonna put it at, at the end of each one of them. So for all four of them, and then I'm gonna click execute again. So you see the string length is the same for all of them. Is seven since we added a special characters. And since it's fixed, it took 10 bytes. Here it took seven bytes for variable character. For Unicode, it took two uh, per character, so 14. And here it took two for each since it's fixed 10. So it took 10 times two equals 20 here. And you see here for the first one, it printed a question mark since it does not support Unicode characters. Same thing with the second one, there's a question mark. And only the third and the fourth one, they printed the character correctly. And if we remove this N, it's not gonna display it correctly anymore. So if we execute it now, it should also display question marks. So always remember to have N in front of your Unicode characters. So V executor now is going to display them correctly. So this was the main difference between all of them. Again, character is only going to support fixed length. The NCHAR is also fixed length, but it supports Unicode characters as well. And for the NVARCHAR and VARCHAR, VARCHAR is variable length. And NVARCHAR is also variable length, except it supports Unicode characters as well. Let me know if you guys have any questions and thank you for watching.